Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And yo, don't worry, my review to Tom McDonald's new song and my review to West Side Gun's new album, Still Praying, those reviews are coming today, but... I just wanted to give my take on this. This is a hip hop take. I know I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of y'all already done heard about this because so far, like we already done got the news that little Dirk got arrested, and now we get the news that this artist is free. I was just wanting to give my take on this. I was wanting to give my take on young thug being free from Joel. My my fellow Young Thug fans, how do y'all feel about this? How how do y'all feel about Young Thug being a free man now? You know, like like for all these years, because it seems like he was in jail for quite a while, but but it's like now he's finally free. But I was just wanting to give my my take on the situation. Here's my take. Yeah, I mean, Young Thug, it, it's it's a good thing to see that now that he's free. And it's also, you know, like a good thing that now, because I saw something that with the rules with his music, he can't really be putting any of that like street life and any of that like um hood life in any of his songs. I also saw something about him being on probation like for 15 years, but... Like I said before, the same thing that I told y'all about the Little Dirk situation, the music industry works with the prison industry. And with Young Thug having to change his style of music, it seems like Young Thug may just end up going the independent route as an artist. Because as an independent artist, you have more creative freedom. When you, when you sign to these major labels, when you sell your soul to these major labels, they control you. They, they they force you to make these songs that glorify all of this negativity, all of the drug usage, all of the murder, all of the running up on your ops. They force you to make all of those songs when you sell your soul to a major label. And you see, in the beginning of Young Thug's career, that's what he did. But you see, now that he's out of jail, now that he's no longer incarcerated, now that he's a free man, he's going to have to change up his style. I mean, who knows? Young Thug may even do some Christian hip hop. Young Thug may show the people that he actually has lyricism in his rapping. Now, me personally, Young Thug, was I ever like a Young Thug fan? I'm not going to lie. No. I mean, Young Thug, he had like a few songs. But other than that, I was never really like a Young Thug fan. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Same thing. Like, I'm not really all that big of a Little Dirk fan. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, other than that, the music industry, when it comes down to the rap game, the music industry works with the prison industry. Rappers be signing to these major labels and the major labels force them to be making these songs that glorify all of these negative messages. All, all of this negativity that goes on in the world. This this is pretty much the reason why you got these kids that be wanting to carry guns and act like they all gangster. You know, what I mean, some of these kids actually idolize these rappers, but yeah, that that's pretty much my take on Young Thug being free. Again, my fellow Young Thug fans, how do y'all feel about this? What's y'all's take? Do y'all feel that it's a good thing that Young Thug is free? Let's have a discussion about this. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. Love y'all.